Right, so it will be autonomous unless there's a problem, and that, then, that's the then the driver that's can take that's over. The plan. That's yeah. right, yes. Okay. How, it might be a, a, a silly question. How does it know where it's going? Right, so it's got GPS in it. Okay. So we pre record the, the track, so the car knows exactly where the track is. Right. Um, it knows its position because of the GPS receiver, mm -hmm. and we use that position to, to make sure it's on track. I now, see. the challenge is that Goodwood is not the easiest place to do this. <laughs> it's, a very narrow, it's a very narrow track. For sure, uh, yes. A meter uh, error is enough to hit the wall. Um, there are trees, there are walls, so the GPS antenna don't work exactly well. Now okay. it's having interference with the with the camera feed, which oh is no. transmitted live from the car. So um, yeah, fingers crossed. Then. <laughs> are you confident of this? I, I am. I am. Yes. I was one of part of the team designing the control system, so I have to be confident. <laughs> <laughs> you can now do no more. It's, it's, it's over to technology. That's right. That's right. Um, James is getting ready. He's the driver. Okay. What what prompted? To, to do this, yeah, because so it must have, um, first of all, taken a lot of financial resource and a lot of time to do it. It's a good point. So, uh, at Crofton University, we do a lot of research mm -hmm. into the handover between autonomous driving and manual driving. We still right. believe that driving a car is fun. Uh, it's not fun when you're stuck in traffic, it's not fun when you sleep, it's not fun when you need to do something with your mobile phone. So we <laughs> like this idea of having the fun of driving a car, yeah. but if you don't want to drive, you've got the option. I see, I see. And how long has it taken to create a car? Right, yeah. and, and here we go. Here this we go, here we go. An uh, autonomous car, everybody. So although there are drivers and passengers, it's the car doing the work. It's the GPS, it's technology steering this up the hill. That's right. Um, that, that's the autonomous car, it's going left and right. Maybe it's warming up the tires. That's what it's doing. <laughs> you can't do that autonomously. Nothing, yeah. Yes, exactly. Nothing to do with the GPS signal. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but it's away from the bales. Yeah, yeah. And the steering oh, wheel. Around. Yeah, yeah, can you see? Oh, oh, oh. James is taking over, he's taking over, yeah. Just to nurse it back towards <laughs> the line. <laughs> now it's an autonomous mode again. You have to have confidence yes. in this. I mean, as you uh, say, there is a driver, uh, but uh, at some point he needs to make that decision. That, that, that's exactly true. So James is going to be there with his hand ready, one hand on the on the emergency button, the other hand down near the steering wheel, uh, right to the cover. But it looks like he's doing okay. Yeah. Uh, I was expecting worse. <laughs> <laughs> now you tell me, now you tell me. This is absolutely uh, yeah. astounding. Here we are, yeah, you're looking at a, 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 a car from the late 1960s, mid to late 60s with... It's 65, actually. 65, 65 okay, yes. bang on the middle of the, the decade with the very latest technology, four people up. Th that's right. And it is technology steering it, controlling the power, controlling everything the brakes about as well. Brakes that's, as that's well. That's a scary thing, yes. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Is it governed to a, a maximum speed? Um, no, we, we, we're going slow. We, we have four days to, to get of better. Of course, yeah, 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 uh, sure. So on the first track of the first run, we decide to go slow just in case we don't want to, um, uh, you know, yeah. we don't want to surprise. But in theory, you could if you wish and the straight was long enough to that, 100 miles that, an hour. That's right, exactly, yeah. exactly. We, we could, um, uh, it would be more difficult to take over in case something happened, but yeah, it's perfectly possible. So now we have, oh, here is. coming up towards uh, the Balkan Corner, part of the hill, the Ford Mustang. There's an element of correction just needed, just to but, guide it back. Uh, it's not really taking uh, over, is it? It's just guiding it back to the line. Yeah, he's, um, he's, uh, he's been quite, oh, he's taking over now, uh, as he saw that. If it goes a little deep into Malcolm, but that's only so those of you in the grandstand can have a closer look. That's all part of the plan. <laughs> Fear not. And by the way, majority of the control system was designed by students at Cranford University. So oh, really? Credits to them, yes. Fantastic, gosh. <laughs> it was a research project. A lot of fun as well. Oh, but, and now to see it in practice, you must be very proud. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Watching your child grow up almost, isn't it? But this is very, very impressive. It's doing well, yes. Yeah. Yes, there was a, now, a it's going to get difficult now under the trees. That's where we, we, we struggle with GPS. So far, so good. Fine so far. Yeah, James is going hand off the steering wheel. Oh, James is going hand now yeah. on the steering wheel. And just a little bit of camera and break. I up. think it's going to take over now because the wall is quite scary. Unforgiving, <laughs> yes, quite a scary wall. So gently up to the top of the hill. Again, the car doing the work. Great, James. <laughs> and again, it's, it's, it's never it's taking over fully, is it? It's just, just a little guide. That's right. I, I think it's a little bit concerned because, it, you know, it's, a, it's the first time we've tested the system, uh, this type of system on the, on the track. So it's all under remote control, all of this GPS technology. And... 
towards the end of the run it comes. You know you're getting old when, dot, dot, dot. Um, you can watch cars going up a, a hill time <laughs> autonomously. That is amazing. You just watch history be made, everybody. And again, apart from the occasional bit of correction, that has been an absolutely faultless run. The chequered flag is there, and the Siemens Ford Mustang makes it That's to the great. finish. That's great. I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased. Well done. <laughs> well you done. Much for <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, that. Congratulations to everybody involved. And as we celebrate so much of the history of motoring, here is the future. And I love the way you've crafted the very latest into a car from 1965. That is a wonderful touch. That was fun. I hope Steve McQueen's looking down on this. You'd be impressed. <laughs>